Hey guys, here it is Thursday. This is Becky at Aunt Beck's Creations again, and my poor flowers are looking so sad. So sad. Everybody's so sad. I'm going to um, break them apart and make potpourri out of them, but that's not the reason for this video. You can look at my sad roses for just a moment. Um, this is a video to share Rosa Gomez's very first challenge giveaway. Now, if you want to participate in this, you need to hop on it like today because she wants cards. She wants handmade cards from her subscribers and she's going to put those cards into one of the photo boxes from Michael's or Joann's or, you know, whoever has those photo boxes, you know, the pretty ones. And she has a box and she wants to fill it full for her mom. Okay, so all you have to do is make cards. Minimum size is A2. They can be any size. No envelope required. She said she has plenty of paper to make envelopes with. She's not concerned with envelopes. She just wants cards of various things like thank yous, hellos, uh, congratulations, happy birthday, happy anniversary. You get the picture. You know, pick an event, make a card, pop it in the mail tomorrow because it has to be in her hands at her house where she can look at it on the 22nd, which is Monday. I'm mailing mine tomorrow in the hopes that they'll get there because I would mail them today, but none of the post offices around here have one of the self-serve, you know, you walk in, you can lay your envelope on and fix the price and get it mailed. So I'll have to take these over first thing in the morning. I'll probably send them priority just to get them to her by Monday. I hope, I hope, I hope. So Rosa, these are the cards that I made. Okay, so here we go. Here's the first card I made and I've used mostly, and most of these, the flowers that you see are diamond dies. Now the very last card I created is just card, uh, not cards, flowers from my stash. And the cards have to have a minimum number of layers, meaning the card base doesn't count, but you've got to have multiple layers. This one's got one, two, three, four layers plus the embellishments. And you have to have an em at least one embellishment. But I'll put a link to her challenge if you want to hop on this tonight. Okay? So this is the first one I made. And it is, I think, four by seven or something like that. It's an odd shape. And then I put a little butterfly on the inside and the shadows catching it. But you can see the little butterfly. But the thing, the reason I made this card this way is that it will actually stand up in that box. I have one of those boxes here. So this is the size that would fit. So she could have like a whole row of this size. But that's not going to be what happens. But anyway, <laughs> that's where my brain went for the first one, Rosa. Okay, the next card I made was this one. And this one's just, these two are just hello cards, like thinking of you cards. And this is the Diamond Dyes Mason Jar Dye. This is a diamond dyed flower uh, made with sugar plum, I think. Or maybe realistic rose. I can't remember and some of the leaves. This is a Doris folder and what I've done is I put ink on one side of it and then pressed it through so the paper was originally the light pink and then the ink is down below. So that's just something you can do. I even colored this twine which was red and white. I colored it with some of the same ink just so it would kind of match better. And then the next one, all right, the next one I made was this one. And this one reads, friendship is like a bouquet of flowers, sweet and beautiful. And basically I've left these all blank on the inside so her mom can just write a special note to whoever she sends the cards to. This one opens this way. And I did the faux stitching on all of these so far too. And these are a diamond die, and the diamond die, and then this is a, done with a Martha Stewart punch and a Doris, um, what is it called? An embossing folder. Yeah, yeah, embossing folder. And then the next one I made was this one, which is another long, short one. 
This is a Martha Stewart butterfly. These were all diamond dyes flowers here. I used the Martha Stewart edge die on the bottom and it's blank on the inside. I really like how this one turned out. It turned out really pretty. And then the last one I made is probably a little overboard. This one will have to be one that is hand given to someone because it would cost a fortune to mail because it is like super, super, yeah, dimensional. So Rosa, if you don't want to give that one to your mom, but you can find, you know, you can use it, awesome. I just went a little crazy, but I wanted to make something. I'm trying to use up stash, basically. I don't need to buy anything else. So these are the cards again. And I hope these are kind of what you were looking for. For your mom's box. I'm going to go ahead and package these up so I can mail them first thing tomorrow. So that's all I have to share today. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.